Well, from the beginning on this one, we can see that if you were to substitute the h equal to zero, it's already undefined right there. So we need to skip straight to the algebra. This is saying you've got two fractions and subtract them. So what we need to do is get a common denominator in order to combine the two fractions. So the first one is one over h, and then this one needs to be factored. So factor out an h. So it's gonna be h times h plus one. So that one's got an h and that one's got an h. So that's in the common denominator, as well as we need an h plus one. So this one needs to be multiplied by h plus one in the numerator and denominator. And then they've got a common denominator. So we can just make one fraction with h times h plus one as the common denominator. And then here we've got an h plus one and then minus one. And those ones are gonna cancel each other out, leaving only an h in the numerator. And then recopy the denominator. And then an h divided by an h will leave a one. And so after we've done the algebra, all that's left is one over h plus one. And finally, the last thing to do is, again, try substituting the zero. So that's gonna be a one on top and a zero plus one, or in other words, the answer should be one. So graph one divided by x minus one divided by x squared plus x. And then I need this to be close to zero, so negative two to two. And then take a look at the graph. And as the h is close to zero, so at zero, the function is undefined. But if it's close to zero, it's very close to one. Notice that the calculator just made a small error here. I told it substitute in 0 0.00, I forget how many zeros I had, but let's say it was this. So it's very close to zero, and the calculator says, well, I'm gonna go ahead and round it, and round this to a one. But notice if I substitute in a zero exactly, right here it says the exact same thing, zero, but a blank. So the graphing calculator isn't the brightest machine out there, but it's good for helping us try and understand. So always make sure that you show your work and then use the graphing calculator just to check it. Don't always trust just the graphing calculator.